Thank you for joining me today on The Buzz on Quality. Episode 7, Quality Control. All right, time to discuss quality. All right, so we already discussed quality assurance, which is one of the main aspects of a quality system. For this episode, we're going to dive into quality control, which is the other major aspect of a quality system. And to be a true total quality management system, you have to really have elements of both. Quality assurance and quality control work together. Only having one, you're going to miss elements in your system. But quality control is important because depending on whatever your client customer requirements are, you will have something in place to ensure that throughout the process of whatever you're doing, that the quality requirements from your client customer is being checked continuously. All right, that is the difference. Quality assurance is you you go in and you check on something and you leave. It's a snapshot in time when you're performing that audit on whatever it is you're looking at. Quality control is really living through the process from beginning to end to ensure that all elements are uh, correct, they're being checked, and it's better to find issues at the beginning than at the end because then you're going to have a lot of time wasted, which ends up being money wasted, and no one really likes rework. So let's talk a little bit about quality control. For quality control, within a process, you will have uh, various phases within it that you will have to have a type of check to ensure that as you go through the phase of whatever you're doing, that you're meeting the requirements set forth from your client or customer. And uh, within that, you may have to analyze. Uh, there may be approvals required. Uh, each company is going to be different with how they set up quality control. It may be a simple uh, check the box, so to speak, on a form. Uh, it may be more in depth, where you may have, uh, especially in manufacturing, you will have batches that you will be sampling and analyzing to ensure that it is within the control limits. So again, it depends on the business, the system set up, how complex it needs to be. There's so many different sectors and industries out there. More um, complex than others. So it's really what fits for you, that fits for your client and your customer because you want their approval in the end, essentially, uh, with whatever you give them. Uh, again, customer client satisfaction is very important. You are doing whatever you're doing uh, for them. And within the quality control realm, no different than quality assurance, you may find elements that you can approve upon and you can document that on uh, the size separate on how you can improve the uh, quality of whatever you're doing. Essentially, you're improving the work that is being done at whatever phase it is um, because you don't have to have a overall uh, improvement done on the entire process. You can make a small improvement within uh, the process. So again, you'll have a set list of criteria that you have to meet that will be within your process. There's going to be a standard in place to meet. Uh, you want to make sure that uh, whatever you're doing is efficient, it's reliable. It is going to work for your customer, your client, and uh, they'll be satisfied in the end. So however you want to design it, you're going to be checking it against that criteria, that standard within the process to ensure it meets all requirements. 
and there may be times where it won't and you have to go back and rework which you don't want to do but uh, that's why it's important to plan things out at the beginning to ensure that you don't have to do that everything's planned everything's set up the way it needs to be and you're just monitoring it on a regular basis throughout the process to ensure it's a constant steady output of the required service or product now again just keep in mind that quality control is one aspect within your quality system quality control quality assurance both have to work together as I said at the beginning of the episode they are really important elements that if you only do one or the other it will not be a successful quality system so the overall system has quality assurance that sets everything up and then monitors uh, through audits however you want to design it especially against risk and then within that is quality control checking on the product service on a regular basis to ensure it meets the requirements set forth by your client customer and built within your process all right so for some final thoughts on this subject again quality control is an important element and any company any business out there that doesn't think so will have issues creep up in both their service provided and the product that they are creating for their client customer just like quality assurance it is an element that is used within a business system quality system to track what you are doing for the success of you as a business for your client your customer so thinking that it is not important thinking that quality is not important will uh, in the long run hurt you so remember that a quality system really needs to have elements of quality assurance and quality control built within it to be successful the cost of quality is something that any business should think about when they are designing their system and cost of good quality is quality assurance quality control activities to be proactive and not reactive when issues arise where you have rework where you have reputation loss where you lose money and time so this is part really part of a quality culture within a company to establish on uh, the work floor because uh, oftentimes most oftentimes the work force thinks that quality is quality is responsibility and not their own and to truly be successful as a business you really need to get all employees to understand that quality no different than safety is their responsibility they play a part in the success of what the company is providing and what they are doing every day meets the quality requirements if they are doing it if they are living it in their work activities and it takes everyone leadership down to uh, instill that and implement it and quality will be a part of the mindset of the employees it won't just be a quality thing it won't be a quality team quality person it's what they're doing i'm checking my work to ensure that what i'm doing is correct and our client customer is going to be satisfied with my work because in the end regardless of whatever internal goals you may have as a company your client customer satisfaction is really all that matters and if they're satisfied they're going to keep coming back giving you business your reputation grows 
and you'll get more clients and customers. Until next time.